This is your CBS 46 News update. Good morning, I'm Rob Hughes. We have video after a shooting outside the local Luna restaurant late last night on Amsterdam Avenue in Midtown. One man was shot in the leg and was found at a nearby gas station. He was taken to the hospital in stable condition. Some cars were also hit with bullets and police are still investigating. Developing now in Coweta County, a police officer opens fire at a home in Noonan. We're told officers responded to a domestic incident at the home on 2nd Avenue. And while on scene, officers saw an altercation and one officer fired his weapon. The GBI is investigating. And the GBI is also investigating an officer-involved shooting in southeast Atlanta. It happened near the home of a sheriff's deputy, deputy on Springside Drive. The deputy told investigators when he arrived at his home and saw a man walking away from the home carrying items. The deputy, still wearing his uniform, followed the man into the woods, and that's when the two got into a struggle, and the deputy shot the man. The man died at Grady Hospital. The stolen items were found in the woods. Today, local lawmakers will speak at the 2022 Cities United Summit. Governor Brian Kemp, Lieutenant Governor Jeff Duncan, and House Speaker David Ralston will address nearly 1,000 representatives of cities across Georgia. The goal is to discuss how Georgia's cities can work with the state government. Atlanta Mayor Andre Dickens will also speak at the event. CBS 46 is your vaccine team. A new COVID testing site is now open in Sandy Springs. It was opened by the Atlanta Fulton County Emergency Management Agency as the state continues to see rising cases. The site is located on Morgan Falls Road, and this site is also available to all Georgia residents. It's open Monday through Friday from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. and on Sundays. The site is closed on Saturdays. Pre-registration is recommended. Well, it is time to file your tax returns. Today, the IRS starts accepting those returns. The agency is already uh, warning people to be prepared for delays. The IRS is still dealing with a backlog from last year, partially to blame on processing stimulus checks and staffing shortages due to the pandemic. The fastest way to get a refund is to file electronically and set up direct deposit. The IRS says most people who do will get their refund within 21 days. All right, let's get the latest on today's weather with meteorologist Ella Dorsey. Ella? It is going to be a sunny, really nice day, but a cold morning. We're starting with sub-freezing temperatures. However, by this afternoon, we're talking mid to upper 50s. It'll feel really nice outside this afternoon, and we're going to continue to see very dry weather, quiet weather through the week this week. In fact, little to no rain really through the end of the weekend. Today, tomorrow, upper 50s, then Wednesday and Thursday, highs near 50, and then we end the week in the low 40s. This has been your personal news update from CBS 46 News.